Well, hey there, folks. Today I got a new hard drive. Uh, it's a one terabyte Western Digital Black. So uh, since it's been since uh, September of '09 that I last did a fresh install of Windows 7, I think I'm going to do it uh, now. And I've actually already got one of these one terabyte uh, black drives in my computer there. And with the other drives, I should have I think over three terabytes. So. It'll be a lot of, uh, lot of space. All right, well, see what's coming, and we'll be we'll eat my headphones. Of course, we'll have to do the all important. Let's see, unboxing of the drive with my cat giving me a hand. All right, as you can see, it comes with a plastic bag. And a hard drive and some silica gel things to eat if you get hungry. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I'm just being goofy. But we're gonna get That's right. In there Don't now. eat these. That was a joke. All right, mopes. Okay, since I'm kind of freshening up the old computer here. Um, gonna dust it out. Remember to do this all the time, as often as possible. Why is my cat attacking every wire in this damn house? No. Anyways, you want to go in the direction that the air is coming into the computer, right? So. Okay, now that you've got your hard drive installed, you can go into your BIOS and go into your hard disk priority. And I believe this one is the 1001 FALS, not the 10 EAC. Whatever. Okay, so I'll try it like this and see uh, what happens. So, save and exit. And. It should either boot up into the uh, Windows 7 lo uh, loader or it will say that I selected the wrong drive and there's nothing nothing there to boot or it'll load my old Windows 7 install. Let's see. Okay, so we did get the, the right one, the Windows installer on the empty drive. So, let's see how this goes. Probably shouldn't take too long, it's a pretty quick drive. It's no uh, SSD, but it's SATA 2. And uh, one of the quickest ones is that, so away we go. Okay, so setup is starting. Now I'm just gonna wanna select which drive to put the fresh install on. Okay, so we're on the home run, just last uh, installation part here. We got just expanding Windows files and we'll do that and complete installation and reboot. And I'll have a fresh copy of Windows 7 installed. So then I just have to go through installing all my programs again, which is going to take some decent time, I would say. A very long time. And it's starting up. This should be the first actual boot, I'd say. Alright, so it's just setting up for its its first run. So we're uh, we're almost there, kiddies. That's right. We're almost done. This is a really easy process. I've done this, I don't know, at least 50 times or maybe 100 times on different computers. and It's just so easy. Alright, so it's going to ask you to type in your name and all that. The rest of this is pretty self-explanatory, so that's it. And what do you know? We are in. So now I just got to 
install all my programs, tweak out Windows how I like it, you know, do all that. Hopefully I still have all the files from my other drive. Yeah, I do. It's just set up right there. Okay. There you have it. Okie doke. So it's been a few hours of uh, tweaking and everything. And as you can see, the computer is now copying multiple files. Uh, this is my Steam directory, which is pretty big. And let's see here are all my drives. Most of my drives are showing up. I had to unplug one because I need a another SATA connector for it. Other than that, she's all good and uh, running how she should go. All right, well, but it's fresh. It's fresh. It's fresh and clean. That's right. Everything's new. Runs a little bit speedier. Gotta love it. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, continue watching. Subscribe.